Hi there! This week we are creating a program that asks a user for five numbers and displays the average. So here we are using the include phrase to refer to this IO stream file which contains input, output, processing functions. So this is our pre-processing directive and uh, something that I learned new last week was uh, using namespaces, kind of making a nickname for this particular, you could say library, std, so that whenever you use any of the, um, I wouldn't say functions, but uh, yeah, I'll say function, like for example the c-o-u-t, the console output, um, phrase that goes along with std. Uh, you don't have to put std colon, std colon, you could just straight out type c-o-u-t. Okay, back to our beginning of our function. Um, int I learned is integer for, um, it goes right before the main function because the main function always returns a number. Um, so we see at the end of our function, we have returning zero, which signals the completed execution of the program. Okay, so then inside our bracket, we have our variable statements. So we're creating five floats for each of our number inputs that we're going to ask the user. And then I also went ahead and did a little extra creating a counter variable just setting it equal to zero. These inputs, we don't know what they're going to be because we're going to just randomly type whatever we want when we actually ask the user for input, so I didn't set those variables to anything yet. And then I also created some string variables because I'm lazy. So uh, the intro var variable, we're just creating a string literal that explains the program for the user. And then um, we also have this new line character that's cool. And then prompt one, we're naming, um, we're just saying enter a number greater than zero. And then prompt again, um, we're able to reuse this string literal over and over again for the other four numbers. Okay, so then using the COUT we are introducing the user to the program so intro referring to our string literal and then we're doing executing prompt one so please enter a number greater than zero and then using uh, this is basically um, asking the user for an input and assigning whatever the user inputs to input one which is the float variable we created earlier. And then I am incrementing my counter variable, which was set to zero, um, plus equals one. So counter equals counter plus one. And then uh, just for the sake of not repeating myself, I do the same thing for every other, for the rest of the four inputs. So input two, input three, input four, input five and we're incrementing the counter each time just so we keep track of how many inputs we're actually asking for. Um, and then finally, let's calculate the average of the five numbers that we asked the user for. So first we give it a data type of float because sometimes, you know, it's not always going to be a nice even number. Um, the average of five plus pi, five, five fives is going to be five, but if you accidentally put a four at the end, then it's going to be a decimal, so we need a float. And then we're dividing by the number of numbers there are. This is just basic average definition. And then finally, we are displaying our average and saying the average of your numbers, of your five numbers, is whatever we calculated. And then 
you can press enter again to exit the program. And then this R and C compliant commands to kind of pause the screen and then you just return zero and that's it. So one of the issues I had with this program was initially I didn't, um, I, I had set these input variables as an integer. So then when I was testing my program, um, I was like, even though I was expecting a decimal for the average, I was getting a truncated whole number because uh, the, as long as any of the inputs are integers, um, and so is the counter, the counter was also an integer, then you're always going to get an integer, not a float, no matter what, even if even though I specified the average should be a float, it's still going to get truncated because I had initially put integer data types for all of these variables instead of float. So let's see how this runs. I'm going to copy paste into my compiler. All right, we're running. So let's just do something simple. Five, 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 and the average is five. Okay, let's try again with a decimal. So let's do five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, what do we have? 11 plus seven is 18, plus eight is 26. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, we have 18, and then we'll say plus eight. So now we have 26, and then we'll just add another one. So we're at 27, 27 divided by five is not gonna be a nice whole number. And alas, we have a decimal. And that is because we initially had the input variables as a float, not an integer. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.